Hey guys, this is Victor and welcome to my DIY Time Tech channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to update Ncell FX3000 car diagnostic scanner. And even though I'm using Ncell FX3000 as an example, this update process will also work for many other models of their car diagnostic scanners. In my previous video, I did full unboxing and visual review of this tool. And if you're interested, the link will be up on the screen. So today I want to talk about updating this tool for three main reasons. Number one, when I was reading reviews about this tool, I noticed some people had issues updating it for whatever reasons. And I would like to share how I was able to do this without any problems. Number two, before you start scanning your car with this tool, you want to make sure it's up to date because a lot of times this tool can be sitting on a shelf in Amazon warehouse for weeks or even months before it gets sold and shipped to your house. So you want to make sure that you have the latest and greatest software before starting to work on your vehicle. And number three, a lot of times manufacturers fix known and reported bugs and problems with their products through the update. So if you're not able to connect to your vehicle for some reason or perform certain functions using this tool, installing the latest updates may fix that. There are two different ways to update and sell FX3000. First, using a USB cable and second using microSD memory card. Let's start with microSD memory card method. The 8GB memory card came included with this tool and it's located on the bottom of the scanner, hiding behind this protective rubber cover. Also for your convenience comes included the microSD memory card reader that can be connected to the USB port of your computer. But the very first thing you're going to need to do, regardless of which method you're going to be using, is go to nceltech.com website and register a new account. You will need to provide your email address, create a secure password, and then click on sign up button. Next, you will be asked to verify your email address by clicking on the link in your email box within 20 minutes of registration. After you sign in, you'll be asked additional information to complete your user profile. When finished, click on the download tab on the top of the page. On the next page, you're going to need to select the model number of your scanner and then select the product name. On the following page, you're going to be able to download user's manual, the upgrade guide and the software required for the update. Let's go ahead and click on the link for the software download. This gives us access to three different files on the Dropbox website. Those are update guide, the product update tool and readme text file. Let's go ahead and download the update tool. And while it's downloading, let's take a look at the readme text file. Here it says that they recommend using memory SD card update method because it's easier than using a USB cable. Next, it says that update software is supported on Windows XP 7, 8 and 10 32-bit operating systems, which is probably outdated information because I'm doing this on Windows 10 64-bit computer and it worked for me just fine. Point number three states that the registration code and the serial number required for the update process can be found in the device menu under Help Tool Information. Number four, if your tool freezes during the update process, Try to reconnect the USB cable and then try it again. And number five, if you have any more problems, you can email support at nceltech.com for assistance. And if you go back and open up the update guide, you will find step-by-step -step instructions for the update process. All right, the update software has been downloaded by now. Let's go ahead and install it. If your Windows Defender is blocking the application from installing, 
You can click on more info button and then click on run anyway. Accept all of the default settings and then install the software. Click on finish button in the end and then you should see a shortcut created on your desktop for the update software. Let's go ahead and launch the product update tool. On the very first screen we've got the box for serial number, but you don't have to actually enter it manually. Simply insert the micro SD card into your computer or connect your tool using USB cable and the software will automatically pick up this number. You can connect the micro SD card to your computer using included USB card reader or else you can insert it directly into the card reader on your computer. The update tool will automatically find the serial number of your scanner. Click on device update and then enter your email address that you used to register at nceltech.com website. Click on submit button. Here we're going to get the main menu of the update tool and we can see the serial number of the scanner. You can also select the language for which you would like to install the updates and you'll be presented with a list of all available updates sorted by the car manufacturer. You can pick and choose which updates you would like to install and for example if you work at the shop and you deal with many different car brands you may want to install all of the updates at the same time. And on the other hand, if you only work on your personal cars, you can just choose the specific updates for your car brands and then download and install just that. I'm going to install all of the updates for my tool. So we're going to click on select all checkbox and then click on download button. The update process took almost half an hour. If you look at the clock, I started at 4.06. And then if we fast forward to the very end, We've got a message, thank you for your patience, software update is complete and it's 4.32 on the clock. So it took 26 minutes to be exact. Now we can safely take out the SD card from the computer, insert it back into the car scanner, turn it on, make sure that the software version is up to date and then make sure that it's working properly. And now that we have the scanner connected to the computer, I'm going to show you how to update it using USB cable method. We're going to pretty much follow the same exact steps. First launch product update tool on the desktop. The software should pick up the serial number of your device. Then you'll need to choose which updates you would like to install. This time I'll just do Toyota and Lexus only. Then click on download button and wait until all of the updates are installed. When finished, click on OK button and then test your tool, make sure it's working properly. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and if that's you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.